Hey everybody, DeLongshat Signatures here. This is episode 100 of the 2024 TTM Returns. Uh, wish I would have had a little bit more to share for this week, um, for the 100th episode, but just two successes. Uh, one from Wednesday, one from Thursday, and got nothing back in the past two days. So that kind of stinks, so I'm working on getting some more stuff sent out. Probably order another batch of photos here soon. But uh, we got two more hockey returns for a very hockey-heavy week. Uh, first one is a 2 of 2 success that came back in 86 days from former NHL center and first round pick Scott Sissons. Scott was selected I think 8th overall in the 1990 NFL or NA, excuse me NHL entry draft uh, by the New York Islanders. He was projected as having a lot of upside. I think he played a game against Peter Nedved who went second overall and had like uh, three or four points. So the New York Islanders were really hoping to see him uh, develop into that kind of player. Um, unfortunately, he only ever played two games in the NHL. Uh, never really reached that status, um, you know, decently, you know, uh, in the minor leagues um, overall, but just never could reach that level of production to make it into the NHL on any long-term basis. But I was able to add two cards for some sets with that success. The other one is a 3 of 3 success coming back in 87 days from former NHL winger Zidano uh, Seeger. Played quite a while in the NHL and then I believe if I remember correctly um, went back home uh, towards to the Czech Republic or Czechia or whatever it was known as the time um, and I think he came back to the NHL after being out for several years but there's a really funny story if I'm thinking of the right guy about um, him I, I'm pretty sure it was him but Alan Walsh uh, who's an NHL um, player agent that's what he is that's the word NHL player agent Alan Walsh said that Seeger had uh, an interview set up with the Minnesota Wild and was uh, trying to figure out, you know, do I want to come back to the NHL? You know, is this going to be the right fit? And the Minnesota Wild were interested in him because he had done really well back in his home league. And they're like, hey, we'd love to bring it back. You know, we just want to see, is this going to be a good fit? Is this something, you know, long term, short term? You know, what are you looking for as far as coming back to the NHL? And he told them, uh, yeah, it's really nice. You guys uh, are known as the land of a thousand lakes, and I love to go fishing. And uh, you guys don't make the playoffs very often, and that's great, because I don't, you know, I want to be able to spend the time in the summer to go fishing and all that. And uh, I won't have to, you know, you don't have to play me all 82 games. I'm more than willing to sit out and get paid, because uh, I've got some back issues. <laughs> and Alan Walsh. Uh, was told about this and went back to Seeger and is like, you are never negotiating for yourself ever again. Because um, uh, he obviously did not get a contract offer, but I do believe he did make it back to the NHL at some point. Um, it's a really funny story there. I'm pretty sure that's who it was. It's, it's the name that's stuck in my head, and I heard that story several years ago, so I think that's who it was. But uh, that is it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.